guys, I'm filming a video about hair extensions with Jacob, my hairstylist. It's like, oh my gosh, I hope oh. you can like, <laughs> there's like so <laughs> many videos going on. There's like a video being filmed over here and I wanted to do my vlogmas. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to talk. Oh my God, he's on his knees. I feel bad. <laughs> you want me to, oh my, okay. Do you want me to stand? Well, we are doing my hair extensions. Um, this is the hair shop extensions from the hair shop, the 22 inch tape ins. We're putting them in because now I want them back in and super excited because he had some time for me he's super busy and always booked but he has some time and he's doing my hair so excited it's gonna look so good after obsessed oh yeah I got a new pink backdrop it's not cute it is okay we are all done I made Jacob film a full YouTube video and he has to be in my vlogmas too hello Hey! Hi! We literally filmed from like sunrise to sunset while well, setting up the shot in this backdrop and like trying to get him in the shot because he's so tall. That's gonna happen when I get my boyfriend. <laughs> he's gonna be super yeah. tall and he's not gonna be able to be in the frame because Jacob is so tall. So it was really hard. So it took me like, I don't know, so long to like set it up. But if you guys wanted me to do more collab videos, hair videos and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below. But now I'm gonna actually go to the gym with my new hair. Like I know I'm not supposed to do that, but like I didn't work out, so I'm gonna go to the gym right now. But yeah, oh my god, yes! Finally, the tape ins are in, and they are from the hair shop. The bag's like right here. The hair shop, you guys have to check it out. I still have a little bit of hair extensions left over, but we're actually gonna put that in probably soon because Jacob is always with me. We're always hanging out, so. If any of these come out or if we feel like we want more, I can always add them in, but I put on a lot. So yeah, I do have a code Arika for hair shop hair extensions. And I cannot wait till you guys see the video because it's gonna be really good. All right, off to the gym. Yeah. Oh my God, vlogging from the gym again. Well, oh my God, I can't even vlog. It's so hard because I used to have like this other camera that was like a lot, of, a lot smaller and able to be held like this. So there's literally no one at the gym because it's like late nine o'clock Saturday night. But I'm going and I'm actually wearing Vlogilotti's Cassie's line. I wore a shirt over it because I was like, didn't want to be too sexy at night, you know? I'm gonna show you guys the outfit. I'm actually gonna show you guys probably that. How sad I'm home and the reason why I'm home is because I was literally going up the escalator recording my cute little shoes and like my feet and like being like okay I'm going to go to the gym and work out and then this guy goes what are you doing and I was like like he was leaving and going down the escalator and I was like huh and I thought he was just being like I thought it was somebody that actually knew me and was like just trying to talk to me and he's like, the gym's closed. And I was like, what? And usually on Fridays, it closes at 10.30. And today's Saturday. So I was like, it probably closes around the same time. But it actually closes at 8. So now I'm home. And I'm going to work out at my building gym. Because it's just available in here and open 24 hours. So I'm going to do that. But how oh, sad, right? And I have so many boxes here. It's crazy here. So... Um, I'm gonna do an unboxing tonight, edit some of my videos, this vlogmas, so I'm gonna go work out. But I was really sad because this never happened to me where I actually went to the gym and it was closed. So we're gonna work out and you guys can watch me do a little workout.
30 minutes backwards on the elliptical. That's what I do for cardio. Can you even see me? Oh my god. I'm so awkward. So I didn't bring my tripod into the gym in my building. But I'm gonna show you guys my ab workout. I feel like this angle is like a little weird, but I'm doing like boat pose and stuff like that. So should I get closer? Yeah, I'm gonna get closer. Alright. Alright guys, so I don't know if this is awkward, but I'm gonna do my ab workout that I always do at the gym. So I'm actually glad that the gym was closed, like the one that I go to, which is Equinox. Um, I'm glad because I can't film in there anyway, so I'm glad that it's closed. Kind of, but not really. So we're gonna do it in my building and um, I'm gonna be doing my ab workout. This is something that I do a lot when I don't do yoga or when um, I don't take a uh, cardio class. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. My leg lifts, so I actually just have my legs like this and I lift it up. I guess it, you guys can't really see it, but maybe I should go farther away. One, two,
So at the gym, I usually do that three whole time. I'm like so sweaty. I should. I don't even wear makeup usually to the gym, but because I was filming earlier with Jacob, I have full makeup on, and then you know, obviously my extensions are fresh, and I don't want to like tie it or bend them because he did style them. So I do that three times. So I do the leg lifts, the toe touches, the bicycles, and then the boat pose, and then the plank. Like, I don't know if it's like a specific order of um, like a workout thing that, you know, like you're supposed to do, but that's what I do and I feel like it's really helped. During the summer actually, I got like really, really fit. So that's like more my thing is, I feel like when I'm always in a swimsuit, like I always want to be very, very confident in my body. But most of the time, in the winter time, I kind of chill and I still eat super healthy and clean, but there are moments where I have cheat days and fun days because I feel like, you know, when I'm really hungry or really like don't get to eat something fun, I kind of like irritated, like not really like mean or anything because I'm just not a mean person. I feel like I'm really kind to everyone, but kind of like not like as, I don't know, happy, if you know what I mean, or content. So I do that three times. Um, I'm gonna actually do it three more times, but I'm gonna just do it really quick by myself. And yeah, we'll go back to my place and then I'm gonna unbox some of the new makeup. So be right back. Just worked out and I'm actually going to eat this that I got. My mom actually gave it to me. It is organic plant-based protein made in the USA and it's like um, red lentil, butternut squash, and coconut. It's so good. She gave me three and I already ate two of them. Loves it. It's so tasty. So I just heat it up and I eat it and it's easy and fast. I seriously love food so much. I swear like a lot of my videos always have food in it. But this is this vegan butternut squash like dish. And I think my mom and dad got it at Costco. So I go to my parents' house on the weekend or whenever I can. And I go there a lot. And they always hook me up with food. This is so good. I know it looks different, but it's delicious. It's so, so good. So I'm really sad because I found out some stuff about, so the brands that send me packages, some of them send it to my old place, probably obviously like not on purpose, they probably just didn't know or they forgot to update their systems. I thought I reached out to everybody um, about, you know, like once I moved, like where they need to be shipped to now. But I did find out that some of my packages have been signed and received and pretty much stolen at my old place. So I contacted, you know, the um, apartment, like building uh, people and um, they asked the resident if they got it and they said, no, they didn't. So, I mean, obviously they did because I have proof of all the tracking and it says, oh, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt from yesterday's vlog. Oh my gosh. Whatever, who cares? So obviously they have my stuff too. I mean, I know I get a lot of product and you know, I should be able to, I guess, be okay with like not getting it. But one of them is my Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette, which is why I haven't like posted about it because I don't have it. And you know, that's my good friend Kristen's brand. And I never got it because the person who lives at my old place stole them. Um, it just sucks. Like, I don't know why people steal. Like, like it makes no sense to me. Okay, if you want something, why can't you work hard for it and get it yourself? Why would you have to make someone else's life miserable and take it from them 
you know i've never stolen anything in my entire life not even a dollar not even a cent not even a penny not even like not anything a long long time ago when i was really really little i remember going to one of those nature stores and they had like a bunch of like little like big crystals and like little um uh, pieces and i obviously really like shiny and sparkly things and i wanted it and i went like this and then i felt so nervous my hands started sweating and i put it back down like i wasn't even stealing it but i felt like i wasn't supposed to hold it like that's how nervous i get like i don't take anybody's stuff and i never want anyone to ever think that i'm like that and i already have way too much stuff anyways but i've always been the type to always have some a lot of stuff and in elementary school i would get all my stuff stolen all the time and my mom is the type that says just like let them have it they probably needed it more than you so i'm really sad because there are a lot of custom pieces that are my size that are clothes and stuff that actually have been sent to the other place so i just don't know what to do but anyways you guys see all these boxes behind me i'm actually gonna get them and um we can do an unboxing so that's what we're gonna do here today but sorry i mean you guys don't know if it took so long but after the gym like after everything i was like on this hunt to look for my stuff and i couldn't find it so i have all the tracking information and that it arrived and it was signed for and everything like can you um tell the police about stuff like this let me know i'm so sad because it's like a lot of packages like not just one but like many and then also many that are um like one of a kind and things that are like it's not like it's just like oh okay it's another pr box it's like these are my friends brands these are my friends have worked so hard to create these brands and create these products and obviously i want to make videos and reviews looks put it on try it out tell them my feedback and everything you know and congratulate them and shout them out and everything and it's like i can't even do that with my own friends line because the person that lived at my old place stole my stuff <sighs> sorry i never get mad you guys know that i'm like pretty chill but so the person that was at my old place stole my stuff so uh okay well let's do the unboxing for the stuff that i have received because i do have things that i got that's really cute and amazing and i thought why not do it for vlogmas number two so let me get some of the boxes the first one i have here is a tardis pro remix package and this is the Tardist Amazonian Clay Palette, Amazonian Pro Remix Amazonian Clay Palette, and Pro Glow Blush Cheek Palette. So that's a lot. Oh my god, I just got my nails done. I shouldn't be doing that because I probably will break it, you know? Nice. Ooh, I like this one. It's colorful and a lot of shimmers. The Tardis Pro Glow and Blush is brand new to me. I've never even seen this. Wow, this is so pretty. And if you guys want to see a full review on any of these products, let me know because if you guys want to see the actual review, then I want to do the review because if you don't, I'll most likely pick the products that you guys want to see the review. So the next package is from BH Cosmetics. This is their Zodiac palette. Whoa. So this is what it looks like. This is a PR package. PR packages are fun. You know, they always make super cute little um, displays and it's easy for me to, you know, review new stuff and like tell you guys when things launch because I get it like, right before. So this is, oh my gosh, so cute. Um, I'm also a Gemini, if you guys did not know. So this is the Zodiac eyeshadow palette. Wow, so cute. So mine is, oh, this like pink color actually. Gemini is usually like, well for me I'm the month of May. So I guess Gemini is like June too. 
but my birthstone is green so whenever I see like the May May stuff it's usually green but I'm glad that they chose pink because I feel like pink is more true to me and like green's not really me so yes so this zodiac palette launches November 22nd so it's already out the package right here is from Jouer it is the fun Betty deluxe collection for Christina's who is the founders birthday she always has like a really cute little um, like release on her birthday so this is the fun Betty and I'll show you guys what's inside Jouer always has like the cutest little touches. Ooh, so sparkly. So the lip toppers are amazing. I use them all the time. This one is Funfetti, so it's like a white cake. And then this is new because I've never seen this. This is the Ultra Foil Liquid Shimmer Eyeshadow. So I've never tried this. I'm definitely gonna try it out because this is something that I love. I've been really loving glitter eyeshadows. I've been like packing it on, so really love that. And then this tiny thing, it's so cute. It's another fun Fetty thing. And I believe, oh, yep, it's a highlighter. Or is there a sticker? Why do I, I found tweezers right now in the corner of the makeup pile. <laughs> so crazy. So I was able to open it. And the highlighter is like this iridescent pinkish white. Cute, right? So I'm not gonna swatch any of these um, on the PR unboxing vlog because I wanna see what you guys think about each thing and then you can let me know in the comments which ones you want me to review and do a tutorial and then I'll like actually test it out. I feel like in this unboxing since I have so many boxes here in my living room, I want to like go through each of the unboxing first, you know? So the next items are actually from the Jouer Holiday Collection and I actually unbox them like in an unboxing um insta story but then when um my building actually here had a fire alarm and it was so loud that i had to stop doing it so we will continue doing it on here so this is actually their lippy collection from the holiday collection it is the get charmed best of lip gift set like this and there are lip glosses and lip creams and lip toppers in here. So a bunch of them. Their lip stuff is so amazing. I love them. I love their liquid lips. I love their lip toppers and I love their lip glosses. I use them a lot. I love that they're mini and super cute. A few items from the Jouer Holiday Collection. This one is the Lucky in Love Lip Care Essentials gift set. And it looks kind of like candy. And it says Lucky in Love Lip Cream and Lip Topper gift set. How do you open this? Yes. Okay, okay, so it comes like that. Oh my gosh, everything is like a little candy. And then, so these are the full sizes. Some of them were like mini, and this one is like real, real size. Ooh, look at that. Gorgeous. So this is the duo. And it's called Love Spell and Naked. And then this one is Making Magic Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette Gift Set. So this is like so on trend right now. I feel like foil eyeshadows and that shimmery, sparkly glittery eye look it's just so in right now and everybody's doing it so um definitely like ooh, look at that foil eyeshadow palette so gorgeous so gorgeous love it and it does come with a tiny eye topper in constellation so so cute it's literally like midnight i'm like it's so tired because i spent the whole day doing a bunch of stuff and i spent the whole day kind of trying to get my other packages but i'm really sad actually it's like not so much sad that i'm not getting the stuff but sad that somebody has to do that and sad that like they probably know that I live there obviously because they keep getting my mail and they keep signing for it and they keep keeping it and the fact that they don't like give it to the office so that's that for Jouer and I actually showed these items in my Instagram story but they are glitter lipsticks from Huda Beauty and they're so gorgeous I definitely feel like I'm gonna do a review on this because I swatched it on my hands and my arms and it looked very 
glittery. So I think I'm gonna do that. This is the pink, so cute. So, so cute. So definitely I'm gonna be reviewing the Huda Oop, lip lipstick. So next I'm going to open it. This is K. Ali. And this is actually from the Huda Beauty team. So Huda Beauty actually started a fragrance line. Look how luxurious these look. Seriously? Whoa. Look at that. So pretty. Vanilla 28. Dang, look at these luxurious bottles. Citrus 08. I'm so glad these didn't break because sometimes these package people, they like throw stuff and I get shattered eyeshadows all the time. And this one, I feel like this one has its own section. So it's like the very special one. And this is Elixir. I'm gonna definitely try this. You know what, this needs its own like video. Like, I feel like that. I feel like it needs to have its own situation. Dun, dun, dun. This is amazing. So if you guys want me to do a smell review of each each one, like I did KKW Fragrance, let me know because I feel like this one deserves it, you know? Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I definitely will. I feel like I'm like still a little bit bothered by the stolen stuff. Like it's not even the attachment to the stuff, but just like the fact that somebody's doing that to me. And they know, cause the package says Arika Sato. You know what I mean? They know who it's for, like. And they're signing for it. Like that's shady, that's like a true lying. Sorry, I keep getting bugged out about it. That's how I get, you know, I get sad. All right, so this is the BH Cosmetics Sylvia Gani Beauty Collection. I've been waiting for this, actually. Ooh, look at that. Look how gorgeous she looks. Pretty girl. Ooh, oh my god. Wait, this one is like so stunning. And I definitely need to do this on Instagram story so she sees this. And this is the Sylvia Gani Beauty. Wow, luxurious eyeshadow palette gorgeous oh my gosh okay i need to do a full review i have so many palettes i need to review because so many of my friends are doing amazing collaborations and it's just so cool so i'm definitely going to be doing them um but i just wanted to unbox it on here for you you know i just wanted to unbox a few things um i do have packages over here too but i'm getting so sleepy maybe i'll continue it tomorrow um, there's one that I really, really, really wanted to show you guys, and it's the MAC Patrick Star um, unboxing. But tomorrow I'm going to his party, so maybe I'll just do it in the morning, and then I can put it on Insta Story, and then I can get ready with the products, um, using his products tomorrow morning. So maybe I'll just do that, and I'll unbox the rest of it tomorrow because I want to be able to vlog vlog this one. I have no voice too. Um, I need to drink some water. <laughs> I'm just exhausted in this vlog. I'm so sorry guys. Like, I don't want it to be boring. I, I definitely want it to be hype and like fun and like, um, you know, informative. But I hope you guys like today's a vlogmas too. It was like extensions, the gym kind of working out even though it's closed trying to find my missing packages which I didn't get resolved and unboxing a little so I hope it was fun um I know it's like Jacob featured in it and it was just really me and not a lot of um people featured in it but tomorrow I'm going to Patrick's party and I'm gonna unbox his whole thing in the morning like an excited girl getting a Christmas present because it's so big and so amazing and I'm so excited so yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in Vlogmas 3. Bye guys. By the way, I made a little bit of progress on the Christmas tree, I added a little bit more ornaments. Still waiting on my pink ones I ordered from Amazon. I'll show you guys that in a bit. And I have this one going on. This is actually the Tarte Cosmetics. Um, they gave it to me as a gift actually years ago and I still had it. 
and um, I added the hot pink ornaments to like switch it up. Oh, they have like I have like little like, tags or like labels for presents, but yeah, that's my Christmas updates, and I'll be doing more in a bit or tomorrow or whenever it arrives. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide. Don't stop looking in my